Okay, so here we have a 20 kilowatt standby generator, uh, and we've converted it into a asynchronous generator. So it originally was this Perkins three-cylinder P3, 2.5 litre diesel engine, and it had this synchronous alternator on it. It was actually a single phase, but that doesn't matter. And what we've done is we've taken it off and we bought a standard uh, 22 kilowatt three phase electric motor. I don't think we're going to be able to see the rate in there, but that's all it is. Obviously, we had to engineer the coupling. So there's a plate in here and the shaft is connected via a flexible disc that we took off there. So it's pretty much exactly the same as the uh, synchronous alternator, apart from the fact that this has now got two bearings and that's a single bearing machine. Again, it doesn't really matter. We, we could have taken the bearing off and make that a single bearing machine had we wanted. Now this motor, as I said, is standard. The only thing we specified is flange mount and foot mount. Then, a little bit more about the engine. So this is, uh, is not a new engine and it has a mechanical governor and it runs at 1500 RPM, controlled by that. Obviously this motor is a four pole, which means its synchronous speed is also 1500 RPM. We did have to make sure that the wiring was um, correct to ensure that both the engine and the motor move in the same direction. So, what did we do then? Well, we took the three phase power supply from here and fed it into the control panel at the bottom. And this goes up there into that terminal block and then up to this switch, which is there. And from that switch, as you can see, that switch is open. And from that switch, it goes on down there and out to the motor. So the mains is connected to the motor and only isolated by that switch. Now, <clears throat> what we've done is we've put one of these meters on. And this meter is an energy meter commonly found in UK houses. In the centre of it is a disc. When, the, when power is coming from the electric motor, when power is coming from the generator, the disc will move in that direction. When the power is coming from the grid, it will move in the opposite direction. Now, this meter has got a, a little safety feature in it to stop people from reducing their electricity bills. It's only going to do, it's only allowed to do a couple of rotations in the wrong direction before a mechanism jumps in and stops it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to demonstrate based on engine speed that both the, the grid can power the engine or the engine can push power onto the grid purely based on the governor engine speed settings and I will be able to show this meter going in one direction generating and then briefly going in the other direction when used as a motor. <coughs> a couple of other things we've got. This is just a, a demonstration and this is what I use to read the engine speed. So the demonstration I'm going to do now will 
start with me starting at the, the engine, check that the engine is running at 1500 RPM. At that point, when it's driving the motor, I can switch, I can connect the motor to the grid. No current will flow between the motor and the grid at that point because it's at 1500 RPM at synchronous speed. A motor only acts as a motor when it's slipping, when it's, when it's 25, in this case 25 RPM below synchronous speed. And it only acts as a generator when it's a few RPM up to 25 RPM above synchronous speed. So if we push this generator up to 1520 RPM, we'll be getting around about 15 kilowatts of power pushed onto the grid. What I'm then going to do is switch the engine off. And I'm going to do that really very simply by disconnecting fuel solenoid wire. The fuel solenoid will uh, will stop fuel going into the engine. There'll be a change in engine note. You'll hear it. And what will be happening after that is that the motor will be driving the engine. And at that point, I'll show the meter going backwards. Before I do that, I just need to put the solenoid back on. Okay. So here we go. It will be noisy, but hopefully you can hear all the noise. Right, so generator up to speed. At that speed. It's safe to connect the motor to the grid. And we should see them, the meter stationary. You can see it wobble a little bit as the governor is a mechanical one. And obviously it varies a little bit. Right, now I'm going to speed of the engine and watch the power go up. You'll hear the note of the engine change. We need to speed it up some more. Should be generating power. And you can see the motor whizzing round. So what I'm now going to do is switch the engine off and then come back and hopefully I'll get back fast enough to watch this go back but it won't go back for long when the, the grid is powering the motor, the engine is no longer running, it's still turning. And it'll come to a rest when I do that.
And there we have an asynchronous generator. The easiest thing to connect to, to the grid with. No synchronizing controller needed. A very, very crude mechanical governor. And a connection can be made within seconds of the engine getting up to speed. Thank you.